everyone. On this 72nd Republic Day, it gives me immense honor and privilege to share glimpses of our Indian history and evolutions of the Constitution. Pre-independent India, including ancient India, was ruled by several dynasties like the Mauryas and the Guptas of the North, the Cholas, Cheras, and Pandyas of the South, and the Marathas in the West. Later, the Mughals came to India, invaded it, and ruled for nearly 500 years. During the 1600s to the 1700s, the English, the Dutch, the French and the Portuguese came to India for trade. They saw India's prosperity and set up colonies and destroyed the smaller empires. Meanwhile, the East India Company led by Queen Elizabeth I set up factories in Calcutta and Madras. Then began the Anglo-French rivalry. Since France lost World War II, it was forced to return to its own country. And then the British soldiers realized that their guns and cannons were far superior to India's weapons. And so, they started taking down Indian soldiers and kings. One reason why the British won was because that the Indian kings were never united. And so, the British formulated a strategy known as divide and conquer. After years of struggle for freedom, our freedom fighters like, like Jawaharlal Nehru, Mahatma Gandhi and Bhagat Singh had a vision of one India and one fight for independence. And so on 15th August 1947, India became independent. It is interesting to know that India was the first colonized nation to win its freedom in the 20th century. When India became free, our leaders had quite a task in front of them. The need of the hour was a constitution. The constitution is a document regarding what kind of government and what kind of society we will have. A constituent assembly was created to write the Indian constitution. One citizen, one vote. That was the greatest gift of our constitution. Indian constitution is the longest in the world. The original document had 1,17,369 words in it. And now it has 395 articles divided into 22 parts and 12 schedules. It took our founding fathers three years to write our constitution. Preamble, the first page of the constitution, defines the guiding spirit of our laws and most importantly, power is vested in the people of India. Our constitution was adopted on 26 January 1950. We celebrate this day as Republic Day. Thank you.